So I do my daily login for this program here, you know, trying to look on, see if I can get some cheap booster packs on trades. And I am greeted with a message that says win six tournament matches and you get a thousand coins. Well, a thousand coins are a little bit too hard to pass up. So we're going to do some tournament matches, I guess. Yeah, you guys get to see that from me and we get to maybe win some coins. All right. What do we got? Legacy. Expanded. Theme. And. 89 coins to join. So what's the purpose of having tournament tickets then? If I can't use them. Alright, so we're going against a water deck for our first match. So this here is an auto loss. Even though it says we have the advantage, but we're not going to win this. There's no way we're going to win this. Why should it just be like straight Greninja? If we go first and get an amazing setup, we can possibly do something. Yes, I would like to go first, but we need like turn two ho uh -oh for the most part. Which isn't possible with that hand. Yeah, I know. I got no basics. But win six games and you get a thousand. So I hope it's not like win six tournaments and it's just like win six games within said tournament. Ah, uh, well, we got the end. So that's going to be useful. And we got the perfect energy for Ho uh right now. But we will have to play that end, which is fine because our opponent like plus two, I think. So we're just going to take that away from them. And we're going to do our best to get a really big Lugia, I guess. And attack with Lugia. If this is Greninja, it's definitely going to be... It's not Greninja. I, I, I don't know what that is. But, I mean, I guess if this here is... Actually, we'll just discard the two energy and we'll super route them back into the deck. That's a much better use of that Ultra Ball. And I suppose we grab Psyduck, right? I, I don't know what Floatzel does. But I assume it's not going to handle... Well, I mean, I guess I don't need to play that right now. We'll play it. It'll be like more targets from max elixir and we just end our opponent get rid of those two cards he got and we so we got a dive ball so we can get a turn two artillery if we want it we have the means to do so i'm just going to put the hole down maybe we can give our opponent another target to attack and if that's not the oh we only have one in the deck uh, I guess this is a prime time to see what we got. Okay, so we prized both of our gold duck breaks. That's not good. All right, so we're going to have to get those out. Oh, no, we didn't. We got one in our hand. I, I completely forgot about that. And that's it for our turn. I, I just want to know what this does. This series, what, Flash Fire? Lapras? Is this a theme deck or something? I mean, if this is the case, then we got this game in the bag. I mean, we're not going to really have anything to worry about. There's a Froakie. That is what I'm worried about, because this could be something that I've never seen before. Okay, we attach. Here, it's nice to know we got our Fire Energy in the deck. I think... What we do is just Wally. We just guarantee ourselves the artillery here. And if shenanigans help later and we manage to get a gold duck out, then we can first the seeker and get our Pokemon going. But we have a supporter for next turn, which is good, and we also have an energy. So we're going to do that. Put 40 on this. And I think we just kind of rush our opponent down with Lugia 
that seems to be the play here. Because these X ball like attacks, they are very hard to deal with. So no energy on Froki. So we're gonna take a prize here, and that's gonna be really good. We're just gonna grab our gold duck. I think actually now we just go ahead and start powering up our uh oh. Well, I mean there's no really no need to, I guess. Let's just put that there. We're going to draw our one, a lightning energy. So we're going to keep the supporter in our hand because now we can attack with uh oh if we want to because we got the Golduck in our hand. And a Starling Megaphone, which is a nice card. If you guys didn't see my last episode, I actually changed the deck up a little bit. I took out the experience share because a new deck that people are playing right now is the... Um, Garbodor, Giratina EX, Dark Right EX deck, and abilities shut me down hard, so I added in two Starling Megaphones. I removed the stadiums and put in something else, I believe. Uh, just to make it more against the meta, I put my Ultra Balls back in, two of them, so that way we can do stuff. There's an Articuno coming out that can be a threat. So what do you do? Okay, just damage. I can attach another energy to Lugia and we can knock this out in one hit. That's probably going to be the play. I mean, I don't want to put Ho in harm's way because I do have this, this uh, water weakness on it. So we're going to have to do everything we can with Lugia. And find a way to keep our Lugia healthy. That's what we want to do. We're going to evolve. We need the fourth energy here to knock that out. So we're going to do that. And we're going to do this. Got heads. Hopefully we get like a Mana Fear or something. Um, I guess we just play this. Maybe hit an energy. We got one. One is what we wanted to see. That's going to go on Ho-Oh. And I think we're just going to play our second Ho-Oh down uh, to prevent things like um, Escape Rope. I was just about to say Warp Point, but we don't have Warp Point in this format. So now I'm going to be knocking everything out in one hit for sure. Because now if I want to, I can just bring in my Ho-Oh and just start hitting everything. So here's Bear Tick. Don't know what this does, but I know it's deadly. Igloo Hold. This attack does 20 more damage for each color than your opponent's active for tree cost. If there's a stadium card in play, attack does 40 more damage. So that can hurt. So now we are pretty much in the mode to where we need to do something. But we get a we get that so we can grab our mana feed. That's going to be the only one we're going to need. I don't want to put too many more cards into my hand. We're just going to play that down. Give ourselves the free retreat cost. And I guess it doesn't matter where we kind of move this energy. But now we can retreat. And our opponent is not going to have anything to stop this uh-oh. What do we need? The water energy. I guess we just move these other two here to uh-oh. Because why not? Done and elemental fire 30 on that because we can knock the ho or the Articuno out in one hit. So, at least this way, if he doesn't play a Pokemon, we take two prizes and that wipes his board and we win. So, how much time do we have to play these games? Like 15 minutes? If anything, there's not no time for me to play this deck. Like, this is a slow deck, like, it needs time to set up. So, 15 minutes is like that's 10 minutes less than what we usually get to play a game. There's a Lysander, but it's not going to matter because we have a way to move it. We have a way to move energy. Okay, yeah, we, we wake up. Articuno could put things to sleep. How about that?
and we don't need to move the energy. We have it in our hand, and this should be game. So, uh, an easy match, and we get 25 of the 85 coins we spent back. Okay, so it's just win six tournament matches, so this here is definitely going to be one of those. I might put together a legacy deck, and just, just use my tournament tickets. I mean, I have them. They're not being used for anything else. You can't do anything else with them besides play in tournaments. And go from this. So, what rewards are we looking at? First place gets three tournament tickets. So, I mean, but no booster packs? Oh, that's stupid. So, I guess I have to play in something like Legacy. So, I guess I'm waiting for these two guys here to finish. Man, look at that. Almost 100 coins to enter the tournament. So, it's like, you don't even gain coins. First place gets three tickets. Uh, but what am I doing with the tickets? I got like 280 of them. Like, I, I don't play in tournaments, so this here isn't like a reward to me. I mean, I guess we'll just finish through because we need to get five more wins now. I really just want a 1,000 coins. Like, that's the main prize that I want. So, we need to go and look at some of the other tournaments, look at some of the other prizes, and then... Maybe build a deck for those tournaments and go in. The reason I don't like playing in the older formats is because things tend to be extremely broken. If I want to play in Legacy, I'm going to have to get cards for Legacy. Like, I'm going to need things like Junk Arm, um, Pokemon Collector. So these are cards that I don't have on my account anymore. I traded them away because I didn't think we were going to have anything like this. I mean, I can trade up booster packs for them. And get stuff, but I'm I would much rather play in older formats like that. Now I can put together an expanded deck. I've been thinking about doing something with Articuno EX and Blastoise. Because you know, auto paralysis is really good. I don't care what anybody says. But I'm gonna have to put together that deck and you know, pretty much trade for the cards. I think I have three Blastoise. I have two Keldeo. I have two Articuno. I would need two more. I have Plasma cards. I have Chorus Machine. I mean, I don't think there's anything I would need. Just Articuno, Keldeo. I would need... Um, a heavy Blastoise line, whatever else other cards are playable in that format. But, but I mean, my only competition are things like Evil Tall, Dark Rye, you know, Dexter, but they, they also have access to Keldeo, so they could get out of my lot. I don't know, it'd be really hard to figure out what to play. Because I've, when I used to play my Articuno EX, there were decks that I would play, and I was, would be able to set up like four prize knockouts. Like I would hit an EX. There would probably be something like a Keldeo. I'd catch it out. And I would hit it, auto-paralyze it. Hit it again, auto-paralyze it. And then I would catch out another Pokemon. Hit that and auto-paralyze it. Hit that again and auto-paralyze it. And then I would do Blizzard, which would put 10 on the bench, knock that out. And then... You know, this really cool stuff like that, and I can take four prizes with Articuno. So we go first again. Uh, we got a ho start. Oh, I'm going to have to play that Skyla. I don't like that. Where's our opponent playing? Hopefully, this Mulligan gets us something. Mega Alakazam. Alright, so I'm going to have to play extremely smart here. Mega Alakazam. Nervous C. I just don't like seeing Trevenant. And he also plays Team Flare Grunt. That's going to be... <sighs> okay, so we're plus three right now. Grumpig. 
Put a basic Pokemon from your opponent's discard pile onto your bench and put three damage counters on it. Uh, your opponent switches his or her active Pokemon to his or her bench. Ah, the balls on this guy. So we're plus three now, so hopefully we can hit some cards that we need because we are going to definitely need a huge setup here. Yes, I would like to draw my three cards. We're going first, so we're definitely going to have some advantage here. Oh, uh, we got two Ultra Balls. That is actually pretty good. That's really good, actually. We don't have a supporter. Well, I mean, we have a supporter, but we don't have one that we kind of want to play. I think what we do is we play the Skyla just to see what Pokemon are in our deck. Just so we can figure out what we want to do. But clearly I grab a, um, a supporter. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to play the Skyla. We're, going to, we're just going to take a look at our Pokemon here. Uh, can we see every card in our deck? Is that a thing? Okay, we can. So there's our ho uh oh Okay, we have one Remoraid. We have... I got lag. I want to make sure my brakes are here. Okay, one is in my hand. Did we prize all of our gold ducks? No, we didn't. They're there. Oh, so, it lo so it looks like our Pokemon are here. So that's that's what I want to make sure. I can take the N. I think it might be in my best interest to take a Birch. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to take a burst and we're going to play these Ultra Balls. Let's see. Let's discard the Lysander. And I mean, I can't discard my Pokemon because we don't have another gold up. So that's what that check was for. I think we just discard an energy here and we grab Remoraid. Because it's going to take a while before our opponent is going to be able to do much of anything to us. And... I really want to play that other Ultra Ball. I might have to discard the Fighting Fury Belt. I have another one, but I really want to keep one in play. But what would I discard for this Ultra Ball? I can't discard anything else. So I think we just play the Fighting Fury Belt and that. And we just end our turn. I don't know if I like that energy placement on Ho-Oh right now. Simply because I don't want to have damage on this. My fire energy is still in my deck, so I can remove any damage that he puts on me with his ability. So we're going to have to, like, we really have to play this matchup carefully. Like, things like Phantom makes us have more energy, and he has Hoopa. But we also have Startling Megaphone, so if he wants to play any of his, his cards down, then we can remove them. That might have been a reason to keep Skylar around, because we could have done that play, and that would have cost him one more turn most most likely and there's always nothing wrong making our opponent take one more turn to do anything because the way this matchup works is it doesn't matter if we have damage on the hoe or not because if the hoe has six damage counters on it this fighting fury belt isn't going to save us so we probably could have used it as discard fodder like i didn't have to play it now because i'm not in threat of anything So, I'm going to have to find a way to keep my Pokemon alive. Because Espeon just complicates things as well. Because he can put, he can spread damage around my board. Alakazam loves damage counters on things. I think Mega Alakazam does 10 plus 30 more damage for every damage counter on your Pokemon. So, you can see how powerful that gets. And Espeon devolves your Pokemon. Devolve each of them. So, yeah, that can definitely be troublesome with my stuff and rocket jump don't know what that does oh okay um it does damage so what we can do now is i think we ultra ball discard the end in max potion because i don't think we're going to need all four of our max potions and at least this way we can get set up we discard the end 
and we grab a side up because we want to get this going and then next turn hopefully we can do some stuff I'm going to go ahead and wait what happened oh it lagged I was about to say what happened to my card but we're just going to go ahead and pop the abyssal hand that's going to get us some stuff oh my goodness I really don't want to do anything now but I think we we have to do this I want to do it before and not after because we get heads we can't abyssal hand so we got heads there so that was really good we got a bunch of grass energy that is not what I want to see but we will play it down Man, there's no reason to play the Manaphy right now. We can't use the ability. So that was a very unfortunate burst. We didn't hit anything we needed. If we would have hit an energy, that would have been good. So this here. Put a basic Pokemon from your opponent's discard pound to the bench. But we don't have any basics here, I don't think. No, we don't. But we lost that lightning energy. That's definitely going to be problematic. But Alakazam's not ready to do anything. So I don't think my opponent's going to do much. Okay, he's he's just going to go ahead and evolve. Thirty on the artillery. That's definitely going to hurt, and that's going to be his turn. So now I have to be extremely cautious with what we have here. So I can pretty much do this. I don't have a choice, but we do get our gold duck break. That's going to be good. Because now if he wants to devolve us, it's not going to cripple us too much. But if we get any more damage on that, then we're going to have a problem. Um, um, uh, we move the energy off. Uh -oh. We have 200 damage on us. Two, wow. We have 20 damage on us. I'm going to say like two damage counters. But Mega Alakazam is 10 plus 30 for each damage counter your opponent's active. So 60, he'd be, he's doing 70. We, we have a lot of HP, so we might be able to tank a hit here. I mean, the way things stand now, that's a lot of grass energy I'm sorry but we need to we need to be able to hit more cards here because in the event that we don't technically draw another energy we can actually do some stuff here but it looks like Wally is really loving us I'm just gonna go ahead and spread this energy around here and we're gonna pass our turn I mean it doesn't look like our opponent is gonna be able to do much to us but we can at least try to protect ourselves this here is three damage counters okay I keep seeing five and what's this 50 damage do your opponent switches to his or her active with his or her bench so that's fine I can just switch between her O's here I can max post in this one because we don't want damage on any Pokemon that we technically don't need damage on and there's an end from our opponent so that's gonna be really good for him but it's gonna be good for us too because that's gonna let us see some more cards hopefully we get energy and max max elixirs we didn't see any, but we have a Lugia. Lugia can actually be very clutch because we can deep hurricane. And that's that's relevant because we have an attacker now. That's not her own. But we can deep hurricane, discard all of his cards. I'm not sure if I want to do that. 20, 40, 60. I think we have to. I mean, any chance that we can disrupt our opponent here is probably a chance we should take. I th probably versus Seeker. I think what we do is start hitting this Alakazam. That seems like the smart thing to do. So yeah, that's going to be the play actually. 
we are going to versus seeker take this lysander if we could start getting damage on that then that'd be good we're just going to bring it out and oh snap i got five minutes left to play crap like this deck just takes so much time And the lag here isn't actually helping me any, like, at all. But we're going to Deep Hurricane. Remove his damage. And we can't play that Starling Megaphone, but we get rid of his Stadium. And we're basically going to have to force him to have one. And I've got to take six prizes in four minutes. I don't know, I might not be able to do tournament mode with this deck, actually. It has 120 left on it. But if we get an energy, we can knock it out with... Uh-oh. So we gotta play fast. The problem with playing fast is... This program is slow. So our opponent doesn't have anything... Got to go fast. There's my lightning energy. Okay, that's one Pokemon down. Four prizes to go in under four minutes. Like, I keep forgetting that this isn't, like, a normal, like, game. I gotta, I gotta be on it. Fifteen minutes, man. Like, this deck here takes time to play. Like, I have to be able to move my energy around. This max potion, I can't play it. What is this? What does this do? Because if he doesn't evolve that, I'm taking two more prizes. Alright, so he's going to force me out. I'm probably just going to go into Lugia here. He's probably going to max his hand of five. And knock back. That's 50 damage on me. That's fine. We'll just go here. I'm going to have to play extremely quick, though. Uh, let's see. Let's play that. Yes. Mm -hmm. What he's doing is making me take more time than I want. So that's that down and Phantom. All right. Max Elixir. Oh boy. How much health does that Espeon have? One seventy. We got three minutes and one second left. We knock this out and then he's going to attack me with the Hoopa, it looks like. 
Okay, I don't have to worry about that. Jinx has 70. If we get a fire energy, we're putting it on the ho. Uh -oh. on target down is Jinx. If we get a Lysander, then we win. Hoopa does 100 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Oh no, my screen turned white. Okay, we're good, we're good. So that heals from the active 100 on. I mean, that's a good target for it. But I mean, you, you attack her own. Because if I get a max potion, then, you know, we can do whatever we want. Um, I actually don't think I play with my opponent here. I think I just keep attacking. We only got two minutes left. I want to dig for max potion. Like, if this here was an actual game in real life, I don't have to spend, you know, 40 seconds moving energy around. I could simply just, you know, I can just be like, move all my energy back, max potion, move all my energy back up, and go from there. So, that's going to put 30 on a couple things, and now we win, because all we do is attack that And we take our last prize. I, I suppose I could have hit the Hoopa as well. So we managed to just take a win because I completely paid attention to the timer. So we're going to see what my, my last opponent here is playing. I can't believe the rewards for this, like, we, we pay 89 tokens to get in, but we don't get, like, packs for it. I mean, the rewards suck. I mean, it's not like they have ever, in the history of Pokemon, well, no, they have half good rewards, and especially in real life, but, like, the, did you, didn't the rewards used to be better than this? You used to get packs? Not, because tournament tickets, they're, they're not worth anything. Unless I'm missing something, unless you can trade these, or they're good for something, but these are really bad prizes. Like, I would almost want to come in fifth place, just so I could potentially try to redeem myself and get some of my tokens back. So, Water Fighting Electric versus my ho -Oh deck. I don't know what this is, but apparently we have the advantage. They're calling the coin. Hopefully we get to go first, because I like going first. Alright, so we go second. Unless he wants to let us go first. Nope, we're going second. So what is our opponent playing? Uh, that hand. I mean, it could have been good if there was like a Lugia and a Ho-Oh. Because I could Ultra Ball something. Get a Pokemon down and get my hand back to six. That's That's bad. Like, that's game losing bad. The only way we can redeem ourselves from this hand here is if our opponent <laughs> plays a turn one end. That's the only way. It's Lucario. I mean, we can beat Lucario. I mean, we have to... Got to get something. Our opponent doesn't have a supporter. So that's going to be relevant. I am going to discard. No, I think we discard you and you.
the smart thing would be to do would probably grab Lugia because at least we can still attack with it I guess I probably should have looked to see if there was another Golduck break in there so a water energy that's not what I wanted to see but we might have to do something with with Lugia because the more energy he places on his Lucario the more that we get to do in return but well, he's going to knock us out. That's going to do, what, 100 damage? And taking prizes already. But we get to hit him for 80 and then hopefully knock him out next turn if he chooses to do something. There's a ho uh -oh that I have to play. So we arrow ball for that amount of damage. Not even 100. But if he plays an energy on himself, then we get to knock him out. It sucks he has two strong energies. Because a 60 still would have knocked this out, but he would be doing 40 to us. Now he's doing 80. He still, what, three hit knocks us out. Unless he grabs like Reggie here, then that's a problem. But we, remember raid, okay. But we negated his belt, so we should be good there. I really wish I had something else, but I had to grab Lugia because I had to attack. And I couldn't really worth or risk grabbing Ho uh oh because there's no way to know that I wasn't going to pick up another water energy with the Max Elixir, which we did. And he has another strong energy. So basically what we need to do is we need to have an energy or a way to get one. Fighting Fury Belt. Um... But that's relevant. But I think we I think we lose here. This happened last time I played in the tournament. We got all the way up to the finals, but we just dead drew. Because I mean we don't have a supporter. We don't have we don't have anything. There's a Karina. It's like if you want to play in this new meta, you have to play like four Enhanced Hammers. Because at least having Enhanced Hammers would slow them down a lot. A Gibble. So what is this guy playing? Like what's his electric Pokemon? Is it like Jolteon or something? Because the way things are now, we knock out this Lucario next turn. But we lose our Lugia. If we would have got an Energy, we could have knocked it out right now. And would have been in a very favorable position for this next Lucario. I mean, anything can happen, but we need to hit an end. Like, we need to hit an end. Or Birch. Birch will be fine, too. So, another energy on this Lucario isn't an energy on here. So, how much damage do we have? We have 130. Hopefully, we can live. I think we have exactly 10. Yeah, so Fighting Fury Belt going down was definitely a good move, and we just, we have nothing. I mean, this is our chance here. We got to get something here off the prizes. A Grass Energy and a Max Potion. I'm trying to figure out what we do. I have to bring up the ho uh Because -oh. he has enough damage to knock us out with the Turbo Assault. So yeah, I think we lose this. I mean, not getting a supporter definitely hurt us. So, I guess the way things turn out, you know, I'm not going to ever win a tournament, it seems. Simply because I always dead draw in the last round. Well, I mean, the prizes here ain't worth anything anyway. We get two tournament tickets.
I'm probably going to look at some of those other formats, see what the prizes are for those. That's going to knock us out, and he's going to get back two of those strong energy. I have to bring, I have to bring the hoe up. I mean, I, I need an end more than ever. Just can't get it. This is bad. Oh my god, I'm like super salty about this right now. It's like I always get to the finals and just dead draw. You know what, there's no, no purpose in sitting here anymore. Well, at least I managed to get back all my coins, I think. That wasn't even a good game either. See, I got, I got two of them because the, the same thing happened last time. I got to the last round and just lost. Man, fuck this game, man. So what are the rewards here? Wait, that's what theme? Expanded. What's the prize for expanded? Well, I mean, why am I not playing in expanded tournaments? See, that's the first one that I got second place on, and that was because I dead drew again. So, I mean, I suppose I just try expanded. What were the rewards for that? Oh, see, I mean, they gave booster packs out for that one, so I don't even know what the deal with this one is. So what do I have to worry about in expanded? Probably things I don't want to worry about and that costs eight tickets to join and this here is a straight up theme deck then all right so I guess we do an expanded tournament. I guess we'll just go ahead and in this video here, so this one here doesn't take too long. So if you guys like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to always be doing Pokemon related things. And uh, do look forward to my next video because I'm probably going to jump right back into it in the next one. And as always, I want to take the time to thank you all for watching my videos and hope to see you all in the next one.